What is up, y'all? I'm gonna do a quick, quick test on. I've got the the mini, which comes with like the subcompact and, and other things. I've got the mid charger, which comes with uh, various tools, and then I've got the big one, which is supposedly a rapid charger. We're gonna find out. But all three of these three amp hour batteries. Are completely dead. I'm still doing the beans. So it's completely dead. We're gonna put that one on here. So it's completely dead. We'll put that one on there. Completely dead. It's blinking. Put that one on there. Make sure this one's dead. Okay. Now it's dead. Just in case it is has a little bit of energy left, which not functioning but if I sat it it might have a little bit we're gonna give the one that's probably the slowest just a tiny bit of a lead and then we're gonna try to get this to film the stopwatch as well if we can even see it and the indicator lights should all be visible this we can kind of see that okay i will adjust as necessary but here's my plug right here and right now all i've got plugged in is my camera so if this takes a long time and i hope the battery won't run out so basically we're gonna plug this in and all three of these are on one little thing, so they should come on hopefully at the exact same time. And then I'm going to start the timer right as I get this sucker in there. So, starting the timer. Okay, so all three are plugged in. And you can see that one. You see that one. Let's make it so we can see that. Okay. So we could see every single one of those. Just in case we'll zoom in just a hair. So you'll be able to tell which one gets done. And now we get to sit and let that charge up. So this is where the uh, Time lapse comes. Okay, at this point, the uh, the big one is already working on bar two, and the other ones are still on bar one. As you can see on that one, and as you can see on that one, only got one bar. I don't know if I can balance this so that you can see the bars. Okay, um, just a real quick check at 22 minutes, and yeah, at 22 minutes, uh, the supposed rapid charger is working on the third bar, the other two are working on the second bar, so quite clearly, this one is somewhat of a rapid charger, and I have two of those, 
and this is actually the old one that came with the uh, pawn shop purchase of the Gen 5X brushless drill impact. It's a hammer drill or a hammer drill and impact with the three speeds, but the older it, it's the one before they started making these newer ones that kind of seemed junk. So we're coming on 23 minutes and this one's damn near done. Wow. We'll see about we'll see at about 30 minutes what it's at. So check it. All right, quick check in at um, about 46 minutes, almost 46 minutes. The full size charger is working on the last bar and it's probably close to done. So I'll probably end up missing when it gets done. The mid size one is working on the third bar and now finally the small one's working on the third bar but it's it's slightly behind um just a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago it was working still on the second bar so obviously from left to right slowest middle fastest now i can understand why um people would be complaining about uh, having these small chargers but one thing I do like about these small chargers over the bigger ones is that you can fit them in the tiny rigid tool bags with the tools a lot easier than this one. This one don't fit. It's hard to fit. And the mid one, still hard to fit. The small one, so easy to fit. You can, the brick that's uh, on the thing over here, you can actually just kind of squeeze it around your tools. Oh just got done so at 47 minutes a 3 amp hour octane completely dead to full charge 47 minutes that is not bad and the other two we'll just let them run out but uh yeah it made a an audible beep which i do like i mean you can't really hear it if you're doing anything but it does make like a I don't know if you heard it, but it went like dee dee dee. It's just a really small beep. So at 47 minutes, 3 amp hour is from full dead, completely charged. So we'll let these uh, last two run out and we'll see which one wins. Okay, we're at a an hour and seven minutes. The uh, mid one is working on the fourth battery bar, and the small one's still on the third. So the mid one's probably almost done. Still, that's taking longer than I thought. So we'll just wait it out, see what happens. Hopefully you can see the uh, timer, but let's keep it going.
Okay, we're at an hour and 31 minutes. This one's done. Uh, I'll have to check back on the video because it wasn't here when it happened, but this one's still working. You can see it. And the clock is kind of hard to see. Can't even see if I can see it. Okay, yeah, there we go. And the last one's just still working. So an hour and 32 minutes in, it's still working on the last bar. And both the other ones are completely charged. So we'll just wait for that one. Obviously that's the slowest one. The middle one's also a lot slower than the big one. So they're both pretty slow. Um, one thing I did just notice is on this one versus the uh, rapid charger. When I pull a fully charged one off the rapid charger and I put it on the middle one, uh, it'll actually put more of a charge in it. And I kind of think that the same thing will happen from this one to this one. So the slower the charge, the more fully charged it is. So the rapid chargers aren't necessarily a good thing uh, in my eyes. So what I've noticed is on my phone right here, which is a Motorola um, stylus, uh, Moto G stylus from 2020 is if I rapid charge it with a turbo charge, eh, the battery doesn't last as long as if I slow charge it. Now that's kind of true with a lot of different batteries. The longer it takes to get the battery juice in there, the longer it lasts. So I think it's the same when it comes to these chargers versus rapid chargers. Rapid chargers, they put a quick charge on them, but it's kind of the exact opposite when you use the tool and it burns the battery bars off, but you set the tool aside and then they come back, but it's the opposite. So if you can understand what I'm trying to say. But uh, my camera's in the sun and hopefully it doesn't melt. Now let's let this one finish out. It's getting close. We'll come back. All right, it's finally done. So, over twice as much as the big charger does the little one take. But, watch this. So, I'm gonna take the one off of the small charger, which is this one. I'm gonna take the one off of the big charger. I'm gonna stick it in the little charger. Okay, it says it's full. Now, this is off the big charger. This one's off the medium charger.
and it says it's full. So, let's stick the one off the little charger on the big charger. And it's actually charging it more. So this is the one off of the big charger, I do believe. And it's also charging it more. So, interesting. So this one, okay now it says it's full again on the big one, it says it's full, and this one's charging still. So we're going to pull this one, I got them all mixed up, I don't know which one's which. So it says it was full on the big one. And now it's charging more. on this one. So the middle one does more of a full charge than any of the rest of them. So I can take a full one off of this one, put it on this one, and it will still put more of a charge on it. And I think the same goes maybe for the small one. Because these two are now charging again. And they may not charge very long, but they will put a little bit more of a charge on it. So now this one says it's full again. And let's stick. Okay, that one's fully charged. It won't take any more charge on this small one. It says it's charged on the small one, and that one's taking more charge. So I just find that strange that I uh, pulled one straight off of here, put it on here, and it charges more. I think this one is off of the little charger, and it's charging that one more. So if I pull this one, which is still charging, off the big one, put it on here, also still charging so let's see if we can get some more juice in this one So it's strange, when you swap the batteries back and forth on the chargers, it'll actually put more of a charge on them. So now this one says complete. The big one says complete, and the middle one is still charging the one that I believe came off of here. I believe, or maybe it came off the little one. I don't know, I kinda got it mixed up. But, so this one's charging big one and won't take any charge on that one this one will take a tiny bit and then it will stop but this one wherever this battery came from in this middle charger which I believe it came from here, is taking quite a bit more charge. That's crazy. So the middle ones, in my eyes, they take longer, but they're probably your better charger for topping your batteries completely off. So you can fast charge them on this one and top them off on this one. Uh, your slow charger 
is just going to be that. It's going to be your slow charger. And it's uh, more for convenience sake, like getting it in the bags and whatnot. But these still, these two are still taking charge. So, won't watch these too much longer. I think we'll go ahead and cut this video. But, that's just strange. So, well, this one finally, this one beeps. I didn't know that one beeped. So now that this one beeped on this one, fully charged on the middle one, see if it'll take a charge on this one. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it came off of this one, so yeah, that's pretty weird. So take whatever you want from this video. This one's the fastest. This one's done. This one's putting more of a charge on there. And these two sizes do beep when they are done. This one does not. So two hours and all on that. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.